Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video and in this one we're on my account and we're going to be pulling sacred shards for the 10x because I need to get myself five more fragments for Great Hoof Loriaka. So uh, let's uh, and right now there is a 10x for these champions. You have a Cardial, you have a 10x for Crutches aka known as Duchess, Brogni, Pytheon, and some other champions, let's be honest, they're just chickens for me. Because I have like three Scathisics and three Madams. And if this Kappa wasn't in the freaking way, I could actually... It's an Achak, <laughs> the Wendering. And uh, it's going to be um, a Sepulchre Sentinel. So, Alright, so let's go. Let's see if I get lucky. So wait, before I pull, I gotta make sure I'm in the right server. Gotta let them know every single time. They gotta know. Alright. We go, we go to the f most important server that everybody knows whenever I'm pulling shards. We let them know. Every single time, now they know. <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's a moderator. <laughs> we are pulling, baby. They see that, they see that, av they, you know, they see the avatar and they know. They know. So let's, let's go here. Here we go. First shard, sacred shard. Oof. Okay. We got ourselves an Arndolf. Um, Arndolf can help out enable that one champion in uh, Banner Lords that no one really cares about, right? The epic that everyone was like, what the? What's up with this super, 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 super conditional champion? Arndolf, though, helps him out. Overall, as an epic, Arndolf's kind of. It's alright, not crazy. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Come on, Lego. Oh man, no, no, not a $50 champion. Oh, I just lost a $20 shard for a $50 champion. Now, that sounds really good, right? That looks like I got a $30 profit. But he's actually a $5 champion, so it's like... You know, they haven't really buffed this champion in four years. Hello, Plarium. This man needs to be reduced two turns on his A3 and at least a turn on his A2. It's 2023. Help out this man. But... Yeah, it looks like my internet went down. Uh-oh. No, bro. Yeah, we might have lost a uh, connection. Maybe, yeah. Hold on, let me see. Uh, should be coming back. Yeah. Sorry, chat, if you guys were here live. Uh, unfortunately, just... Yeah, the server... Like, the internet just dropped real quick. Maybe it could be this... I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I have to keep doing the video. Let's keep going. Sorry for everybody's getting who lagging. Hey, I don't know why. <laughs> don't ask me. It's probably the town's internet. What we got here? Uh, Yumitogi. Yumitogi. Okay, Yumitogi. I did actually build out myself a Yumitogi. She was pretty good. I actually like her. Um, I built her out for Faction Wars. She's really, really strong. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I'm going to turn out these stickers. Um, I actually like her. I think she's a very unique champion. Do I think she's like a must build? No, she's kind of a fun fun kind of epic you get an extra what 80 percent chance to crit under conditions here's pretty cool you can ignore defense which is nice on a three turn cooldown and this she can make herself basically perma like perfect veiled and increased speed and then she has a cool passive she also has increase rate in all battles which can synergize with her kit right because she needs less crit i think she's an interesting epic but she's not a, like a must go for i think she's fun i actually liked her but I don't know, maybe the A3 should have done AoE and then buffed her. Would have been pretty cool too, but and you can only wish, right? Uh, we got Knight Errant. Okay, we got Knight Errant. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, he hits really, really hard on the A3. Um, and he can reduce um, cooldowns of each champion's skills. Things like that. Uh, uh, so his, his skills if you kill someone. He does smack a lot. He was really good back in the days because back in the days there wasn't that many huge nukers other than like Phoenix, you know, like like insane hard hitting champions. So he's one of those like, oh, you know, you never know. But yeah, I mean, he's fallen off. No one really uses him anymore, which is kind of sad. I'm gonna probably pull till I get a Lego. Hopefully, I get a Lego like on this one. Oh man, I just been getting epics, bro. Sad. Ana, Ana's nice because of um. That's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got the, you got this, and then people have shown her in Clam Boss. People have shown her in some other places. Honestly, she's kind of, still to me, she's meh. 
I mean, 50, 20% chance to get an extra turn on an A1? I think it should have been a multiple. It is a multiple hits, right? And I think each hit should increase the chance. So, like, on the first hit, you have, like, a 20. On the second hit, you have, like, a 40. Maybe something like that would have been pretty cool. Uh, I mean, she's a 134. What if they just reduced this to a 3 and then did what I said on the A1? Boom. She could be really interesting. But I doubt they're ever going to do that. So, lagging again? No, I'm not lagging. It's probably on your side. Yo, Tatsu-chan looks good. She looks good. Of course she looks good. I mean, she's a female, and then she's also a Shadowkin. Come on. Come on. Uh, Canonist. I did build out a six-star Canonist um, chat and viewers. Uh, she's pretty uh, interesting. Is it a must? No. Another interesting, you know, epic if you don't have the Legos to do what you're looking for. She does have this two-turn ally protection, increased defense, and continuous heals on all allies. That's pretty nuts. Okay. Uh, I do like this A2 as well being always critical, which is weird. It's like, do I build her as a nuker or a tank? It's just really interesting. It's always really interesting. Now, that's my last Sacred Shard. I don't know if I should do it. That's pretty nuts. But you know what? I am a pretty nuts person, so let's just pull all the shards. And, of course, seven epics in a row. Shush! I got seven chickens. But um, I got a Crimson Helm here. Pretty interesting champion. They can solo bommel. Um, you know, with the with 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 uh, block damage here, then if you need to revive on death, but mostly you'll be should be fine. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I can go get myself the great hoof. Get myself the summon rush. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. This, hopefully, it's gonna be good. Um, I know I'm only got five fragments. I probably didn't have enough to get this ten. Summon Rush always takes forever. Or just tournaments and events in general. To load up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I got myself all the points. Sheesh, I probably should have stopped. <laughs> Something told me to stop, because I knew I was, you know, further. How far did I get to go, though? Let me see. I got... Oh, so I did, got, I did stop there. 15 frags, man. I didn't have to do Artifact Enhancement like I did yesterday. Oof. Well, I could have saved... That was... Dude, I could have saved a lot, actually. <laughs> I did... I did... I did Fire Knight, Dungeon Divers, and Artifact Enhancement. I could have got 20 straight up. It's pretty nuts. Lagging or just me? No, you're probably, it's probably lagging now, yeah. Yeah, the internet keeps going in and out, but I mean, there's nothing, there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. All right. Um, let me see. Let's go pull, let's go pull Great Hoof Loriaka. Yeah, but there's nothing I can do if it's lagging, bro. I'm doing videos, so we'll we'll worry about that after the video. Um, all right, so let's pull her out. I was gonna save for CVC, but I really want to build her out right now, like a must now. So I think we're gonna do with that. Oh, let's go! We got a great self, get ourselves a great hoof. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, that was my shards. That was my sacred shards. I got myself se seven epics. Nothing great. I just pulled Great Hoof. I'm going to build her out right now. Thank you guys for watching this Rachel Legends video. Um, and I will see you guys on uh, the next one. W did you guys pull for the Summon Rush? Did you guys get anything? Or did you get trashed like I did? Let me know down in the comments below how your summons go. And I will see you guys in the next Rachel Legends video. Bye-bye.